Okay, so I'm going to draw the top right fabric. Um, and what you want to start with is just that center big piece of um, fabric, I guess cloth. And it's just a really elongated um, triangle, I would say, at the bottom, um, the shape. And then what I'm trying to do is on the left, I've got the folds of the fabric go in and then out. And so you want to make sure that they're close to the drawing and what I look at is the bottom of the fabric so where it hits the the piece that you just drew meaning this area I'm drawing right here where does it hit on the bottom and then does it curve in or does it curve out if it curves in and then it's like the shadowed area and see how I just change that curve so it's out then that's the piece that folds towards us and then this piece is folding in and that's the big part and we just want to make sure your widths are pretty close and then they all taper really thin at the top like I'm drawing right here. It just tapers really nice. So this one just has um, a curve that comes out and I like this piece because you can see how it folds and then the piece shows behind so we have that little line that curves and we want to make that really shallow and you drop it down straight and then that shows the fabric behind. And then we just have this little piece that kind of pokes out to the side. And what makes the fabric interesting is that you have all these different lengths, right? And I have um, a 0.9 lead tip that I like to shade with and then the 0.7. The 0.9 is a soft graphite and so even if I just had like a regular HB pencil, you could do it. Just make sure your tip's really sharp. We're gonna keep it nice and dark. And then I use the 0.7 for the lighter values. And I worked left to right because I'm right handed and I don't wanna smudge my graphite at all. And then we're gonna drop, um, after I'm done with my Light values on the tops or on um, the piece of fabric that fold towards me, and then the dark ones that as it recesses back, I'm going to drop a cast shadow and it's really light. And I just got to be careful not to match values next to each other. So I'm going to go dark enough, and then light enough, and have it feather out. And then you're done.